Hey, this is Matt Storr, and I repair saxophones for a living. Today, I would like to show you uh, different neck tenon mechanisms. Basically, your neck screw, the thing that tightens down uh, your neck to your saxophone. Now, this is a traditional design. This has been removed from a saxophone. Actually, it's never been put on. This is a spare part. This is the neck tenon part that is on your neck. This is the tenon receiver part that's on your sax. So this goes into here. This tightens up. This is all one piece. Got a slit right in there. And this screw tightens that slit, which keeps this from moving. Now, uh, this is this is pretty much on every saxophone, and it's not that great of a solution. Uh, the way that it tightens just from one end actually changes the shape of the circle, and a lot of times, um, if you tighten it too much or not enough, uh, you're going to have a leak, actually, an air leak in between the tenon and the neck receiver. Um, sometimes one that, when the screw is loose, will not have an air leak in here. When it's tightened up, it will have a leak because it's changed shape, and a lot of times it kind of causes this to bow out a little bit in the front. Uh, sometimes the other way around, when it's not tight enough, it's going to have an air leak. Uh, but you just don't really have a way of knowing except uh, by testing it. And unless it's mechanically perfect, it doesn't work too well. And it gets out of whack all the time. It's actually why I have this replacement part. This is for a con uh, baritone, which are always messed up. Um, so I've got this held in reserve for next time I see a con baritone come in that's screwed up. So all one piece metal here. Uh, one slit with a screw, tightens up, tightens down the neck. Now SML, Strasser Marigot Le Maire, uh, had a saxophone called the Gold Medal, um, which was a competitor to the Mark VI, and it's a very good sax, made in Paris, um, rolled tone holes, really nice sound, huge sound, and uh, I'm working on one right now. This is a Revision D, which is slightly before the Gold Medal, but it had the feature that I want to talk about, that is the removing, uh, removable locking neck ring. Now this is the ring, right here. This is the tenon receiver, here's the neck, neck tenon. Now you can see there's a groove machined in here, and if I rotate it, you can see that there's four slits at equal points around the neck. And this ring here actually fits right into this slot. And then the next screw goes in. And what this ring does, as you can see, it's free-floating. When it's tightened down, it exerts even pressure onto the neck tenon. It tightens it down evenly all the way around and gives you a leak-free and tight fit every single time. And it's just a better design. So there, I've tightened it down. It's not going anywhere. So this is the removable neck ring that you find on SML saxophones, and I really wish that every other saxophone maker used this design. It's not that much harder to make on the front end, uh, but it just works a million times better. Um, I hardly ever have to redo uh, necks on SML saxophones, and I, I do actually work on a lot, even though they're fairly rare. I see them uh, quite a bit, because that's kind of my what I'm known for is working on uh, vintage saxophones, especially ones that not everyone uh, has a lot of experience with. So I see SMLs a lot, and this is one of the features, probably one of my favorite features on the saxophone. It's this uh, removable neck ring for the neck tenon. And I think every manufacturer should do this, along with the um, opposing sprung octave mechanism, which will be in another video. And here you see that is the SML removable neck ring doing its job. Uh, much better than what you find in every other saxophone, which is a much uh, simpler and, I guess, not as well-made um, solution to the problem. And it doesn't do the job nearly as well as the SML mechanism does. So you got your removable neck ring, your machine groove, you got four slits, neck goes in, and it just tightens evenly all around, and it works beautifully. So that's your Strasser Marigot Le Maire SML, one of the 22 features found in the gold medal. You also see it on the Revision D removable neck ring. All right, hope this is interesting. Any questions, comments, feel free to contact me. You can go to my website, storemusic.com, S-T-O-H-R-E-R music.com. Uh, any saxophone questions you've got, anything I can help you with, just let me know. All right, thanks.